ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sue and I'm 10 years old. I will be talking about my idea how to unify the people of this world together so we can live in a more peaceful world and stop fighting our differences and focus more on our similarities. It was all started when one day I went to the park after school and there was no one to play with. And then this girl came. She looks very quiet and shy. My mom saw her and said, why won't you come why don't you come and talk to that girl? Then you could play together. I thought it was a good idea. So I went to that girl and asked her if she would like to play with me. She looked at me with her eyes wide open. Then she seems confused and stared at me like I was an alien. I stared at her back. Then she said in a foreign accident, Why did you dress that way? You look weird. I felt sad because she was judging me on what I was wearing. So I said to her, And why do you talk in a weird way? To pay her back for what she said. The girls now look embarrassed for what I said. And I don't want her to be sad. Maybe I suppose I shouldn't pay her back that way. So I've got an idea. I told the girl, I will tell you why I dress this way and told you a little bit about myself. And in return, you will tell me why you talk differently and tell me a little bit about yourself too. Maybe after we understand each other, we could be friends instead of enemies. I started to explain that wearing head cover and wearing long skirts is just good for my religions for girls and I'm a Muslim child. The girl still confused and puzzled. Then she asked me, what a Muslim child? Right away, I have a splendid idea. I remember the poems I always recited when I felt that I need to explain myself to others. I read it in my fa favorite book called Muslim Child when I was five and decided to use it in situations like this so it can become handy. I stood in front of that girl and told her, listen to this. Hopefully uh, you will accept me as your friend, as a good friend afterward. Please, for all of you who want to know what a Muslim child is, allow me to tell to share this with you as well. Muslim child, child of peace, child of war, with a far distant shore. What does your black eye see? My eyes are not only black. Sometimes it could be as blue as the sky, as green as the tropical sea, as black copper or brown as the trunk of a palm tree, and every shade in between. I'm the richest of rich and the poorest of poor, as famous as famous can be, a general's kid who bembered and bored, a soldier, child, orphaned by war. I come from different countries, speak different languages, but in one sense I believe, I believe in Noah, Jesus, Abraham, Muhammad, and Moses, and God who sent them, and every messenger in between. So then, a Muslim child, child of peace, what does your bright eye see? I see that we each a piece of the puzzle of humanity. I try to understand you if you try to understand me. Now, back to my story. Guess what the girls did? She gave me the biggest smile ever, clapped for me, and told me I would love to be your friends. Isn't that amazing? Just a serious couple of words, full of knowledge, could change the whole situation? Now, I told her, it's your turn to tell me about your story. The girl began her story. I'm from Mexico. 
We came here last month for a better chance of life. My dad is a farmer. He tried to support my family by moving from different countries. Now I still adjust on my new school. I still cannot change my foreign accident that fast. I understand better than I speak. And I don't have enough friends to practice with me. Maybe after we become friends, you could help me, she said. I felt sad for her and asked her to forgive my ignorance, but I made a comment about the way she speaks and told her I would love to be her your friends. Now let's go and play. I have so much fun playing with her and I gained a new friend. Now, for all of you who are sitting and listening to me, I hope you get my idea. We need to start fighting against ignorance with knowledge. Stopping picking up each other. Stop picking up each other. Overcomes our differences. If all of you start to pass a good book or a nice quote, give a beautiful speech or write an inspiring story, hopefully my generations could, get, could live in a more peaceful world. The way I dress shouldn't be matter how matter the people view me on the world. And we should be judged on our actions and characters. Thank you for listening to this speech.